So there's more to the smartphone game than just Apples and Samsungs. And let me ask you a question. Is that smartphone that you're watching this on right now really you? Because this phone right here, the real me, might be more you than you and I might think. And this right here could be the one. It's the Realme GT Neo 2. And if you didn't know, Realme used the same Android platform as Samsung. So if you're familiar with Samsung phones, this is gonna be very familiar to you. And Realme is in fact the fastest growing smartphone manufacturer in the world right now. And there's something about this phone that makes it extra cool, which is something that we'll come back to later on in the video. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is unbox it, give you guys a guided tour of this product, highlight the key features. And also they've sent me over some Realme Buds as well the Buds Air 2, so we'll take a quick look at those as well. And before we begin, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers, no to man. Anyway, you ready? Let's go. So here's the top level stuff you need to know about the Buds Air 2. We have active noise cancelling, 25 hours playback, 88 milliseconds super low latency for gaming, if you're using these Buds for gaming, You've got 10 millimeter hi-fi bass boost drivers. 10 millimeter is pretty big for earbuds. And transparency mode, so that means you can listen to your surroundings if you want to. And it's also got a quick charge feature where 10 minutes charge will give you two hours of playback. That is very good. We'll take a quick look at these at the end of this video. This right here is the star of the show. This is the Realme GT Neo 2. So the GT is still the flagship. That's still the top of the range. This is just one more step down from that. But this one's focus is on speed and power and gaming. Anyway, let's get this out of the box. 5G. And as you can see here, this one is the Neo Black. It's a 12 gigabyte RAM and 256 gigabyte storage. There is an eight gigabyte and 128 storage, but this is the faster, better one. So as Vin Diesel would say, if you get one of these, you won't just have a phone, you'll have family. User guide. And here we have the Realme GT Neo 2. Look at that shine on the back there. I really like that finish. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's just look at what else is in the box. We have a protective case for the phone, which actually matches the color of the phone a pretty chunky USB-C cable, and a super dark charger. That is a 65 watt power brick. So the back of this device is what Realme are calling an AG finish with seven nano multi layers, and it looks really nice. It looks like a matte color, but when the light hits it, it kind of has this glow, this kind of aura about it, which is subtle and very stylish. I like this a lot. There are two other colors. So there's like this racing green color, which is pretty funky and out there. This is the more sort of subdued version of the phone. In terms of weight, it's around 189 grams, which is pretty light, it's pretty thin as well. The camera bump does stick out ever so slightly. And you can see they've gone for a top left corner, bullet hole for the selfie camera. And one thing that I really like here is when you activate it, you get this really nice animation around it at the top there, that's pretty cool. And hopefully you guys can see this, the power button here on the right side has actually got a really nice texture on it as well. There's also built in stereo speakers. So when it comes to hardware, there's some awesome features here. So this phone is actually running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 5G processor. And this is one of the most well-balanced Snapdragon chips right now. It's one step down from the 888, which is in the regular GT version. But this phone has a GT 2.0 mode, which will actually allow you to supercharge the device and then there's also a feature that allows you to use virtual RAM. So you've got the 12 gigabytes that's in here already, but then you can see here the little plus three, you can actually use some of the actual internal storage. So some of that 256 gigabyte and turn that into a sort of virtual RAM to speed things up even more. And this display right here is Realme's first HDR10 display. It's a HDR10 plus display because of the resolution and it's actually a Samsung panel. It's a Samsung E4 panel. And when it comes to brightness, this can go up to 1,300 nits of peak brightness. And just to put that into perspective for you, the iPhone 13 can reach 1,200 nits. So it's actually even brighter than an iPhone. And as well as that, this is a 120 hertz display. 
which means super high refresh rate. You can, of course, leave it on auto. You can lock it to 120 or you can lock it to 60 if you want to. But one of the big deals here when it comes to this display is the 600 Hertz touch sampling rate, which means this screen is incredibly, incredibly responsive. Apple don't actually disclose what touch sampling rate they use on their iPhones, but a lot of people suspect it's 240. So this is more than double that if that's true. And this is something that's gonna be a really big advantage to you gamers out there. If you like to do a lot of gaming on your smartphone, stuff like PUBG, for example, your reaction speeds can be faster. And thanks to that 120 Hz display and the brightness and the processing and the virtual RAM and all the stuff I've mentioned so far, it should give you the gaming edge. So at the beginning, I mentioned that feature that makes this device extra cool. Well, this is it. This right here is a blown up version of the actual components inside this stainless steel vapor cooling plus chamber. They say this is the industry's largest and it uses eight layers of 3D heat dissipation. You've got aeronautical diamond thermal gel in there and this will actually cover 100% of the heat source. So if you're gonna be doing massive gaming sessions, this right here is gonna help you and your phone stay cool and calm and collected under pressure. So something worth noting here is that the stereo speakers are actually Dolby Atmos certified. And check this out, when we go into the game settings here, we can go into graphics, we can actually set it to extreme and HDR. So we're gonna get the 120 Hertz refresh rate. And if we want, we can bring in the gaming space menu here and we can actually adjust the touch optimization as well to however you want it. So you can get the most out of that 600 Hertz touch sampling rate. And there's a bunch of other stuff like performance modes. You can silence your notifications and all that other good stuff as well. All right, so that's the speed covered. Now let's talk about the power. So this phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That is pretty big. Actually, it's very big for a smartphone this thin. And then this charger here, this is a 65 watt super dark fast charger. You can go from zero, completely empty, to 100% battery in 36 minutes. That is super fast. And of course, USB-C cable here to do that. That's some serious speed and power. Now, when it comes to cameras, this does have a 64 megapixel main primary camera. We've also got an eight megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro. And then on the front with the bullet hole, we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Now, one of the unique things about this phone is the Realme UI 3.0. The icon design, they call it a 3D icon design. So it's giving it a bit more depth. You can customize this so much, the layouts, the icon styles, Everything is customizable, the sizes, the names underneath, the tags underneath. You can go into this art icon section here and get third party designed app icons, which is crazy. And there's a ton of customization when it comes to the always on display, which is really nice to see. And you can even create your own ones now if you want to. And Realme also say they've improved the AI, so the learning algorithm on the phone will know when to strip RAM usage out of the background so that your phone can perform better and be more power efficient on the fly. So you don't really need to worry about it, it'll just do that on its own. And of course, they've improved the privacy of the device as well. So if you're doing work and stuff like that on this device, you can rest assured your data is gonna be safe. So long story short, the Realme GT Neo 2 has a ton of speed and power. It is a real beast of a smartphone. It's very customizable and I can definitely highly recommend this. The screen is beautiful, the cameras seem to be good. If you guys wanna find out how good they are, like I said, check out that thumbnail at the end. Now let's do a quick unboxing on the Realme Buds Air 2. Got this nice little pebble shaped case here and matte black earbuds with a rounded stem. And the stem actually kind of has a bluish tint to it almost. And we've got silicon ear tips there, and I'm assuming we'll have more to choose from inside. So we've got a little pack of silicon ear tips. And a really short USB-C cable in yellow. So my first impressions on the Realme Buds Air 2 is clarity is the focus. I'm gonna to have to test these properly for the noise cancelling abilities and all this stuff, but for the price they're coming at, these are a bargain. 
that this right here, the Realme GT Neo 2, is what it's all about. This is an awesome device. I'll leave affiliate links below this video so you guys can check out the price. If you want to see the shootout between this and the iPhone, links on screen right now. I appreciate you guys. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one. Don't be late.